everyone, it's Diane and um, first of all before I talk to you about um, the energies of this Easter and what they mean and where they'll be taking us, I just want to say sorry it's been such a long time. I hadn't meant to be away for quite such a long time but I had no idea what was about to happen. Um, so I've had lots of changes, lots of things that I needed to figure out for myself um, within all of these intense astrological alignments and changes that we've all been going through. And I've also had out of those intense uh, events and situations a lot of really beautiful creativity emerging. And I've been continuing to teach behind the scenes and I also have been inspired to to create some lovely offerings. A part of that has been the meditations that you've seen on the channel and thank you very much for your comments about those. I do read them and really appreciate them. I'm glad you like those because that's sort of the direction that I'm moving into a little bit more. I'm not stopping what I'm doing, I'm still teaching, I'm still doing reading, still doing healing, but I also want to do much more in the realm of creativity because that's, you know, one of the things that really, really brings me to life. So I've been working on an album of songs, beautiful spiritual songs that have been um, guided and inspired by my guides, by spirit, and just uh, have created just some beautiful, beautiful music. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that at some point. I don't actually have the means yet to put it together, and I may have to ask for help with that at some point because I need to, I need to record, I need to pay musicians, I need to be able to put the whole thing together. We'll see, we'll see. I'm putting it out there to the universe that that's going to happen. And uh, it's going to be really, really, uh, hopefully very interesting and original and transcendental, the whole thing together. So I'm looking forward to that. That's the big thing that I was working on. Um, but in the meantime, <laughs> something else has evolved, which ha has um, just kind of blown me away a bit. I've been inspired with a beautiful deck of, I don't know if I can call it a deck because it's not a physical deck of cards, but they are a series of beautiful inspired messages. Well, they're not cards yet at the moment. We'll see how that um, evolves. We'll see where the natural flow is taking them as a creation. For now, they are inspired messages that are completely free that I'm giving to you every day when you subscribe to my newsletter. So you'll receive a message every single day if you do that. Um, you will also uh, see them from time to time on Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter maybe and other places. But you, the only place you can receive them every single day, including weekends, is if you subscribe. The link is below this. I kind of feel like with everything else, like making videos, I don't really want to get stuck in a rut. I want it to be very fluid. I want it to be very changeable and evolving. So I don't want to make any promises about regular videos. Um, not Certainly not daily anymore, but I have got lots of videos lined up for you that I'm going to post. So I would like to do more meditations at some point. I want my um, album to include meditations and inspiration. I've also got some videos recorded about other issues, things like raising your vibration, um, uh, mindfulness, other things that people have expressed an interest in. So keep your questions coming and there will be more videos as well. And uh, maybe there'll be a weekly video posted or something a bit more regular than it's been. It could be quite sporadic, but it won't be daily. But please, please, please send me some questions. and. Um, Again, please sign up and subscribe to my newsletter so I can keep you posted. So, I think that's everything. If I've forgotten every, anything else, I'll make a note at the end of the video because there's a lot of catching up to do. However, today's message, which has already gone out on all these other places, I thought I would just share it with you here, as I'm here, kind of saying hello again. and. The message is embrace the mystery. So I'm going to read what the, the full message is on the card and then I'm just going to talk a little bit about it and how it relates to what's happening at the moment. So the card says leave behind what you know and embrace the mystery of the unknown. Something heavy and outdated is trying to leave your life but you are holding on too tightly out of fear of the unfamiliar. Something is trying to release you to find your good an old idea, an old way of seeing things, perhaps a relationship or an old way of relating. Release self-doubt, stand up tall and see yourself differently today. It's never too late to begin again. 
And for me, the last sentence says it all. It's never too late to begin again. So we, at this time of year, regardless of your religious beliefs, regardless of what you think about Easter or what you understand about these festivals and the way that they're spaced and the way that the dates are chosen for them, sometimes there is a quietness, there is a reflectiveness about particular times of year that do impact upon us. And the fact that so many people around the world are experiencing that vibration or are making a decision to experience that vibration means that it will be there in the collective and it will be affecting us. I personally find Easter always quite a magical time, always quite reflective and always a time of rebirth in some sense. So that really is the magic of this time. And just to put it into a little bit of perspective with the astrology, I'm not an astrologer, but I do know about a lot of the um, intense alignments that we've been experiencing. I know we've just come out of an eclipse. I know we've had Pluto and Uranus squaring up for a long time, forcing us to make changes within ourselves, changes that will allow us to be a brighter, truer, bolder version of what we truly are essentially. So we're being asked really to walk out into this period, into the rest of the year, with a purer sense of that rebirth, of that newness, of that, that pure spark of who we are, that divine spark, a little bit more refined, a little bit truer, a little bit more ready to have the courage to go out into the world with our originality, with our innovativeness, our innovations that come from the depth of our own personal voice. So, this is a really important time to be taking stock of anything that prevents us from doing that, anything that prevents us from being completely bold with that, whether it's um, old beliefs about ourselves, whether it's old family culture or karma that tells us we can't do that, we can't be that person, whether it's even our own personal history within this simple lifetime that tells us, well, you failed so many times, it hasn't worked before, you, you know, what makes you think you can do it? It's time to release all of that. It's time to release our outmoded ways of seeing ourselves. It's even, for some of us, time to release old ideas about how we are to take that message out into the world, how we are to reach people. So, for example, if there's something that's been stuck for a long time and you've had a fixed idea that this is the way to do it, this is the way, this is the thing that you're going to take out into the world, and it just, it, it's sticky, it's stops, it's uneven, it's, it doesn't have a flow to it, it's time to evaluate that, to reassess that and to ask yourself, well, am I doing this because it seems to be the tried and tested way that others who do this sort of work are doing it and therefore I should fall into that? Remember, we're being asked to innovate and be true to ourselves, however crazy that might seem. Or is it that I just I'm used to doing things in a particular way, that I've historically gotten used to the idea that this is my path and this is how I must do it. So release all of that, release logic, as I think it was Einstein who said logic will get us from A to B but imagination will take us anywhere. So it's really time to be imaginative and true and to take chances, to take risks when it comes to doing something that's different and new and that's even new to you in your lifetime. It doesn't mean that nothing in your life is right. Of course there are things that you'll continue to do because they serve your evolution, because they serve the practical elements and aspects of your life. No one is being told here to ditch their job and run off, ride off into the sunset unless that absolutely feels aligned for you right now. Um, what we're being asked to do is to see things different, to broaden the vista, to widen our view of the horizon and to see more expansively in terms of how we can be creative, what we can create and how we can align ourselves with the creative spark, the divine essence, which is love, which is endless, effortless, infinite creation, creativity and more love. So. Um, Something is trying to leave us. Something is trying to leave us and a lot of us are holding on because we're attached. We're attached to an idea about ourselves. We're attached to a set of beliefs about ourselves or a particular way of doing things or a person or a place or a thing. 
and it's time to step out of those boxes now and to be very truthful with ourselves about what we're going to take out into the world and the lightness that's needed in order for us to do that. And I'm also hearing remaining free of judgment is essential right now. Think about all of the ideas that you've adopted, that you've taken on, perhaps to do with religious philosophies and beliefs that connect you to an idea of judgment, that connect you to fear, that connect you to anything that increases the sense of separation even from yourself. It's time to release that and to come into a vision of yourself as whole, true and beautiful and to see that as something that is very dynamic and purposeful in the world, just being yourself, being the pure, free and true essence of who you are. That is the nature of this current rebirth. So I think that's it for now everyone. Um, it feels about right, like we're ready to wrap up. So thank you again for listening, thank you for watching and I hope that um, you'll enjoy the videos that I'm planning to, to put out in future and if you would like me to address any more, any other issues that I'm not addressing, please ask and I'll see what I can do. Also I hope you enjoy these cards, enjoy these inspirations, these readings and remember to sign up for those. And uh, yeah, have a great Easter, have a wonderful time for the rest of the year. I, my plan at the moment is to give messages every day for the rest of the year through my newsletter because that feels like a good commitment. And again, as I said, I want things to stay fluid. I want things to stay outside a rigid regime. So just please flow with me and bear with me because what I do bring when I bring something I hope is fresh and new and vibrant and alive and ever changing and ever evolving. Even these messages, even these cards will be evolving, changing, growing. At the moment there are 111 messages. There may be more at some point. I've been told there could be 222. What on earth there is to say 222 times? Because basically, essentially, we're always saying the same thing, which is love, love more, be more, inspire more, um, connect more, connect with that divine frequency, become all you can be through love, through your purest expression of yourself as divine love and as your creator, which is love. So, but I'm hoping that there will be um, more evolutions within everything that I do and I'm hoping that you will be a part of those evolutions. So thank you so much for everything, um, all the love, all the support over the last few years, um, during the ups and downs, the on and off periods. It's just all wonderful. I feel as if we are in this together. So thank you for contributing and for liking, for sharing and for subscribing and commenting you know more on what you would like to see the questions are wonderful of course the feedback is lovely but what moves us forward is when we get a chance to answer your questions and we get to explore things together so i'm looking forward to more of those questions and um that's it have a great easter and uh, have a lovely time and uh, take it easy be gentle have fun Bye. thanks for that an angel holds you so close